Hey, what's going on guys? Swift here and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you all how to increase your FPS in Minecraft. Uh, now this is going to be for 1.8.9 version and as you can see I'm just on a random world. So this is if you just loaded straight into the game, haven't changed any settings, haven't downloaded anything. As you can see, I'm getting a you know good FPS at the moment up in the top left. But that's because I have a pretty decent PC, as you can see up in the top right. The GTX 1070, you know, pretty good PC. This all depends on your PC and how good it is. So anyway, whatever your PC is, this will definitely increase your FPS. So first thing you want to do, the very first thing you want to do is go into your settings. So go to options, video settings, and as you can see, everything is set basically to full. The first thing you want to do Obviously, this depends on your PC, so if you have a good PC, you can lease on these settings up pretty high. But if you have a bad PC, you want to have your graphics on fast, mid lighting off, clouds off, use VBOSS, definitely put that on. Put that on if you have a good PC or anything, just always have that on. Render distance, I usually don't have it at 32. If you have a not a very good PC, I would recommend put it at about 8. I usually have about 18, but 8 is definitely fine. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, you still get good FPS with it. Max frame rate, definitely have that on, on unlimited. So as you can see, it caps your FPS. So if you had that all the way down here, you know, the max FPS you'd get is 20. So you want that on unlimited. Uh, brightness, you can leave that. Particles, put that minimal, I'd say. Yep, minimal. Use VSync, keep that off, because what that does is maxes your FPS out at whatever your monitor refresh rate is. So say you have a 60 hertz monitor, it'll make your FPS capped at 60. If you have 144 hertz, 144 FPS. So basically just leave that off. Um, use alternate blocks, turn that off, and entity shadows, I don't think it really matters, just leave that on. So if we go back on, as you can see, look at my FPS there. I was getting about what, 120, 130, and now look at that, 740 FPS. Obviously this is on a flat world, so it's not gonna be too bad if I just run over. Now if I some pigs. It drops down to like what, 350, it pretty much stays about 400, 500. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do is to download Optifine, and the link to this will be in the description, as well the link to anything else that's going on in this video. So what you want to do is just scroll the way down to you see 1.8.9, you want to download the first one, whatever the top one is, the newest version, download that, it will take you to this AdFly page. Just deny that, you have to wait for it to load. Alright, once this loads, don't click anything here, press skip add. Anything that pops up, just get rid of it. Alright, so it will take you to this download. We'll literally just click Optifine download, and it will start downloading down here. So we can close out of this, whatever that opens, just get rid of that. It says this type of file can harm your computer, it's not going to do anything, just say keep. Now, all you want to do is click on that, install, and Optifine is successfully installed. Okay. And that's all. All right. And the third thing you're gonna want to do is download Bad Lion Client. Now, what this does is it's a client that goes over your Minecraft as well as Optifine, and basically it has a bunch of settings on it that you can turn on a bunch of mods installed, like toggle sprint, show you know different hard show FPS, all that kind of stuff already into it. And also, it's got an anti cheat built in, so you cannot hack when you have this um, client installed. So all you're gonna want to do is click on the link in the description. Click on client, it'll take you to this page and it's downloaded already down here. You just want to click that. I've already got it, so it's not going to work, but you want to click this. Agree to everything. So agree, install. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it. So once that's installed, it should pop up on your desktop here. Just double click it. Alright guys, and once that's open, you, you're going to have to make a bad line account. I'm pretty sure you have to make an account to use this. I'm not 100% sure, but if you do, you literally just create an account. It'll come up, you'll get you link your Minecraft account. So you go to play, make sure use Optifine is ticked, use beta, just keep that crossed, and MC version 1.8.9 and launch that. Alright guys, as you can see, it launches Bad Line Client. And watch this, what this is is your Minecraft. So you can see single player, multiplayer, all that stuff. So you go to single player, we'll go to that random world I just made before. Okay guys, and once you're loaded into the world, what you want to go and do is press right shift. And that will come up with all your settings for bad line client. And what you want to do is have FPS boost on. Um, anything else you can just toggle. It's not really going to affect your FPS that much. But yeah, any of this stuff, just leave it. And then click on mods up here. And this is all the different mods you can turn on and off. So as you can see, I can put, let's say, show FPS. Where is that? So just go down. FPS right here. 
and that is my FPS right there. As you can see, I'm getting around over a thousand. So it's a big jump from before. So we started at 130, we changed our settings, it put me up to around 5, 600, and now I'm getting over a thousand. And yeah guys, basically there's just a bunch of settings in here you can change, a bunch of mods like, you know, show your clicks per second, you can show your armor status. I'm not wearing any armor, so it's not going to do anything. But all this stuff is, you know, none of it's hacks, you're not going to get banned for using any of this stuff, it's all fine. Um, I'd recommend having full bright on, that way, you know, you can explore caves and stuff without having to use torches. This just keeps it always bright in the caves. And yeah, basically all this stuff is fine to use on servers and stuff. And I'd recommend also having toggle sneak on when you change the settings. I usually have it on sprint. And that way you have toggle sprint on. So you can just press your sprint key. And as you can see in the top there, sprinting is toggled. So you never have to hold sprint. It's just automatically sprinting. And that's definitely very good for PvP and stuff like that. And yeah, guys, basically that is it for this video hopefully it did help you out with your fps guys and yeah if you could and if you like this video please subscribe and also like and also leave a comment on what you thought about the video if it helped you out and what other videos you want to see me do and just letting you guys know on this channel you know the videos i'll be doing are mostly it's going to be half half so i'm going to be doing minecraft videos minecraft pvp as in you know survival games sky wars maybe a UHC here and there and that kind of stuff. And the other half is going to be how-to videos like this one, like how to increase your FPS in Minecraft. You can go back in my videos on this channel and you can see I've done how to get Photoshop for free, how to get Sony Vegas for free, that kind of stuff. So those kind of videos, tutorials and how-to videos, that's going to be the other half of the videos I do. So yeah, they're pretty much just going to be spread out. I'll do one here, one there. And yeah, if you're interested in that at all, definitely subscribe and put notifications on so you don't miss a video I do. Alright guys, I forgot to show you before, but I'll show you a little bit of PvP on Bad Clan just so you can get a feel for it. Um, but before I do that, I will also show you if you go to right shift and you go enable GUI editing, anything you put on, you can change where it is. So as you can see, I've got my sprinting toggle up here. You can move this all around, you put it wherever you want. You put it up in the top left, up in the top right. You can just customize that how you want it. And yeah, just get the best uh, fit for you. And yeah, I'll do a little bit of PvP now. Um, I haven't been on, so I'm probably going to be really bad. This is uh, Skippy's server, as you can see, Invaded Lands. Yeah, I'll just do a little bit of PvP, show you guys how stuff is, how stuff goes. As you can see, I have toggle sprint on right now. Oh my goodness. I've literally, like, barely played on the server at all, so I don't really know how it goes. But yeah. Basically, this looks as like an absolute mosh bit. Oh my goodness. Right, let's just go find a random kid. Fight, fight this kid. See if he goes. This is our US server, so... I'm not going to have the best ping on this. As you can see, I have pretty bad reach on this server. As you, look at that delay. I wish, really wish it was a good AU PvP server that actually people played on. But yeah, I'll just do a couple minutes of this. Hopefully you guys can get a feel for Badline Client. Definitely download it though. Like, if you're going to be doing PvP or anything like that, you definitely want this um, client. Got a bunch of random kids here. There we go, got him. Let's clean up these guys. Oh my god, this guy's full diamond. Alright, All right guys, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It will definitely help my channel out. I'm trying to get to 500 subs as soon as I can. So yeah, only 127 subs away. So anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video.